Newly released body cam video shows Sandy Springs police arresting Atlanta Braves outfielder Marcelo Ozuna. Take a look at this as officers rushed into the home after getting reports that Ozuna was choking his wife. CBS 46's Rebecca Schramm has brand new details. Get your hands off her. Yes. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. In the Sandy Springs police body cam video, you can see Atlanta Braves outfielder Marcel Ozuna appears to have his right hand on his wife's neck as the officer walks into their home. One month earlier, this was Marcel Ozuna. Hi, fly ball and no doubter. Look how far that baby goes. Over the Cubs bullpen. A solo home run. Ozuna takes a selfie. The arrest did not sit well with Braves fans. It's pretty disappointing. A lot of people look up to him, a lot of young kids, and they see him as a role model. And if he's acting like this, it's not a good thing. You know, he should he should know better. With the arrest hanging over his head, plus two dislocated fingers on his left hand, Ozuna did not take part as the Braves made their World Series run. Get your hands off her. Yes. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Ozuna's wife, who was arrested herself a year earlier for allegedly hitting her husband in the face with a soap dish, told police that in the Sandy Springs incident, Ozuna took her two cell phones without her permission. You can see him drop the phones when police confront him. He was originally charged with felonies, including aggravated assault by strangulation, but the counts were later reduced to family violence charges, and he agreed to complete a family intervention program. Earlier this week, Major League Baseball retroactively suspended Ozuna for 20 games for violating the league's domestic violence policy. That cost him more than $1.5 million. A spokesperson for the Braves said they support the suspension, that they are encouraged that Ozuna has accepted responsibility for his actions. By the way, he will be eligible to return to the Braves next season. At Truist Park, Rebecca Schramm, CBS 46 News.